Eagles have two timeouts to work with. That's a wonderful way to start your hurry-up offense. Big effort by Barnett after the catch. Cunningham is 6 of 7 now, throwing the ball in the first half. He's hit his last six. Make it seven. Here's Byers. And he leans out to the 50-yard line, just short of the first down. Now Randall and the Eagles will call timeout and stop the clock with 66 seconds remaining in the first half. It'll be second down and about a foot needed for the first down when we come back. Dennis Green in his first season as the head coach of the Minnesota Vikings. We chatted with Chris Dolman, the longtime veteran defensive end, about Dennis Green. Dolman said the thing he most appreciated about Green when he came in is the first thing he said is this is not a rebuilding year. We're going to move and not uh, overhaul everything. Second and short. Cunningham looks deep, fires deep. Incomplete for Roy Green. Speaking of veterans in this league. Now in his 14th season, that'll be third and short. Now Roy Green still has that speed to get deep. You know, he's had a, a wonderful career, first with the Cardinals. One of the last guys uh, before Deion Sanders to play both defensive back and wide receiver. Did that with the Cardinals. He also was in the record books with a 106-yard kickoff return. Here's Fires. He's got a first down at the 45-yard line. The Eagles are really moving the ball. That is their 15th first down in the first half. And another, whoops. And that ought to get a flag. Henry Thomas took a jab. And now he's fighting his own guys. And Cunningham kills the clock with 38 seconds to go. There was no flag thrown. And there certainly was nothing offsetting about it. Upsetting, maybe. Uh, you know that this guy would be involved in it. Ron Heller. Ron Heller. Let's take a look at it. A couple of words exchanged. Thomas took a shot at Shad, who was uh, helping Alexander keep Heller away from the action. Well, they got to remember, they got to get lined up because the Eagles were lining up to kill the clock. Now it's second down. 38 seconds to go before halftime. Blitz threatened by the Vikings. They're coming. Cunningham hit. Shovels it forward incomplete. Well, he tried that earlier, and he hit Anton Davis. This time he does find Keith Byers, and he avoids the sack. But he's, he's dropping back a little bit too deep in the pocket, putting too much pressure on his tackles. Anton Davis, 78, and Heller, 73. Let's watch Noga come here, 99, forces Randall up into the pocket where he should have been to begin with. That pocket has got to be about five to seven yards deep. These ends of the Vikings are too fast around the corner for those deep sets. Well, he's starting a good six yards back, five yards back, make it, and then retreating from there. See, he's eight back now, and here comes Noga, and here goes Randall, and he gets a block from Calvin Williams, and he's taken down at the 29. That's a gain of 16, and a single season high for Randall Cunningham on the ground. He's now rushed for 87 yards and a touchdown in the first half of play. It's a first down with 20 seconds to go before halftime. Eagles use their final timeout to stop the clock with 20 seconds remaining. They and need to get about another 10 yards, Vern, because remember, this is a direction that is into the wind here. Revez in the first quarter had a uh, field goal from about this range that was short, and this would only be about a 47-yarder from this point. It, Need to get about another 10 yards to get Rusek in range. Out of the shotgun again on first and 10. Four-man rush. That ball is caught in front of McMillan at the 24-yard line by Fred Barnett. And he gets out of bounds to stop the clock with 15 seconds remaining. It may be windy, but the wind is not going to affect Cunningham's passes. He's played here in the swirling winds of the vet many many times and the one thing he told his receivers is that I'm not going to hang it up in the air I'm going to be throwing with a lot of zip make sure you get out of your brakes in a hurry and get your head around for that ball may be stuck in your ear hole 
Barnett again to the left side. Williams comes right. Roy Green is in the slot to the right. Deep left side. Incomplete intended for Barnett, who got tangled up at the 10-yard line. But uh... And that was the pass. It looked like he tried to loop it into Barnett, and the wind, uh, it appeared, kind of carried it to the outside. Now, out of timeouts and with a third down and only 11 seconds remaining before halftime, Roger Ruzek will come on to kick it. He is 11 of 15 for the season. And this will be a 40-yard field goal. Nope. Like Fouad Reves, it drifts wide right. So another terrific drive for the Eagles. Winds up wide right. The wind comes into the vet uh, blowing from left to right in this direction. It hits this far uh, grandstand and then pushes this way and then comes around. So when you're kicking to this direction, you have it at your back. What we've seen is a couple of field goals come up like this one and be pushed wide to the right. I'm not sure that uh, when this one hits the ground, it's even far enough if it had been hit straight. Very similar to the one that uh, Revez missed in the first quarter. And now, according to the clock, time has expired, but... Uh... 12 men on defense. There was a flag. And Denny Green said, that's enough of this. Well, on defense, penalty is declined. Half is over. Philadelphia Eagles move for 159 yards of total offense. They have the lead at the end of the first half. With the score, Philadelphia 14, Minnesota 10. Another sellout crowd on hand at Veterans Stadium have watched the Eagles take a halftime lead of 14 to 10. Randall Cunningham with a huge first half, 181 yards of total offense, 30 of which came on this scramble that helped lead to the first touchdown of the ball game. Randall Cunningham with 87 yards rushing, and he also has a touchdown scored. It's been a big, big week for Randall, as he announced on his own television show yesterday. On Thanksgiving, I decided to get engaged and get married on uh, May the 8th, and I'm sure the camera's panned on him. There's my fiance right there, right. Felicity Diaga. All right, congratulations. <laughs> hey, see her holding up that ring, did you? <laughs> Absolutely. A lot of ice on that finger. Well, and Randall can pay for that. You bet. Uh, he has been impressive in the first He's half. earning his money today. That first drive on the ground, but then it was the second drive that was even more impressive when he completed five straight passes and got the uh, Eagles that go-ahead touchdown. Are you surprised at how easily the offenses have been able to dictate the tempo of this ball game? Uh, sometimes the way it is in the NFL, uh, we talked about both defenses to begin the game and how dominant they had been. Well, the offenses hear that all week long, and it, they've risen to that old challenge deal, and have really the offensive lines have controlled for both teams. And to open the third quarter, the Eagles will return it. Jeff Seidner, five yards back. And that is the 23rd time this season that Reveas has kicked into a touchback. At the half, statistically, Philadelphia with 16 first downs to Minnesota seven. They also have the edge on the ground. 87 of those came from Randall Cunningham. Offensive plays 40 in the first half. So the Eagles uh, with a deserved lead right now of 18 minutes uh, in time of possession, 18 to 11, and they lead on the scoreboard 14 to 10. Keith Sherman. And a quick 15 out to the 35. Jack Del Rio with the stop. It's going to be a super block here by the left side. Watch Herschel Walker with the lead. He comes up inside and seals 